Hey y'all, welcome back to Mulberry Branch Farm. It's Ashley here with you again. And today, or I guess I should say this afternoon, we're gonna go over to the chicken coop because it is dirty as sin in that chicken coop. And it's not even so much the, well, I won't even, <laughs> let's not downplay this, it's the whole chicken coop. And I'm kind of in a hurry because actually my niece has a basketball game up in our town so I really want to go do that, but it's so warm out right now and the chickens really need these nesting boxes to be cleaned out because believe it or not, this is the first time in years that my chickens have not stopped laying during the winter time. They've gone through their molt and they just kept going with it, which is great for me, especially with time seeming a little uncertain. If those chickens want to pull their weight along with the ducks, and by golly, they can go ahead and do it. But I have noticed that they're sleeping in the nesting boxes, which is a big no-no because that means they poop in the nesting boxes, which means my eggs are really, really nasty. <laughs> Guys, you've already been fed. They act like they've not been fed, but they've already been fed this, this evening. So what I'm going to do is I've got my handy dandy trash can because whatever I take from this coop and these nesting boxes is going to go in the trash can and I'm going to take it over to our raised garden beds because chicken poo is fantastic. A fantastic source of nitrates which most plants need in order for them to grow big and strong. Now these will be more in a middle layer so that they'll decompose and cool over the winter time and they'll be perfect for next year but let's see if I can go ahead and get in here get some of this done before I have to go elsewhere. See, there is no downplaying how much they have pooped in here. They've got clean ones here. And you'll see here, this is what these, um, these roost bars are for. So that in the daytime, the hens can hop up here, get in here and lay their eggs. And then at night, once you've taken your eggs, you're supposed to flip this up because then it makes a nice barrier, but you guys will see. There's a, something is not quite right with this picture. So I actually need to get some nuts and bolts to go ahead and fix these. I mean, it is in disrepair. It's times like these that you can really tell <laughs> where my priorities lie. And that's usually with my goats. So I am gonna go ahead and clear out some of this stuff so I can put nice new bedding in these nesting boxes so that they can at least start with a nice clean slate and then maybe I can go find some bolts and nuts that will work accordingly for these roosting bars so that I can make them work how they're intended, which is to keep hens and roosters from getting in there and pooping at night, but being dropped in the morning so they can go in there and lay their eggs. Makes a lot of sense to me. Now the good thing that I do, I'm hoping, for these, ooh, you can see the bottoms of these can kind of, my goodness chickens, calm down, can come right out. Probably not without making a bit of a mess, but then it, it kind of helps me to bring them out into one full load of poop because you guys can see that they've actually been kind of beveled in so that when they sit down in there they catch on the back and they just sit in their place but then I can just it makes it nice because I can just take it and see nice and clean clear out and then what I can do is I can just get in there get it a little bit of an angle and then it just goes right back down and in. That's actually one of the reasons that I really like these nesting boxes because they make it to where it is a little bit easier to get some of these out if they need clean. Honey, get out of there. Go out of there, here we go. Hey, hey, guys, take it outside. Take it outside, get out of here. Get out of here. Goodness. You'd think they know I was filming and that that's rude. The only thing I will say while you're doing this, you guys can probably already tell, there's actually quite a bit of um, nastiness in the air. It might not be a bad idea to have a uh, dust mask on while you're doing this, especially if you tend to get respiratory problems or maybe you have allergies or asthma or anything like that. This might not be the best job, but at least I've got my gloves so I'm not <laughs> in direct contact with the chicken foos. But uh, that is something to think about when you're doing things like this around your chickens. You know, someone has to take care of them, so you need to take care of yourself while you're taking care of your chickens, because if you can't get out to take care of them, who's going to take care of them? Whew, just, I need a break from this dirty air in here. Woo! Woo, woo. 
<laughs> I promise guys, I've cleaned that within the last month. That's how often a lot of these chickens are getting in here and just sitting there all night and pooping. It's kind of ridiculous. So just out of the one, I've got all of this. But it's also good to remove that litter from nesting boxes like that because while they should hold up to the chicken poops and the things that are in there, any type of contact with moisture, especially with as corrosive and acidic as chicken poo can be, that's a really good way to, to rust out the bottoms of those nesting boxes. So I've actually just taken one of the bolts from my nesting box to go in here and to Mark's wonderful garage that he most of the time keeps pretty organized. So then I can go in and hopefully borrow slash steal slash never give back some uh, nuts and bolts that I can use in these nesting boxes so that they function properly. Because if they function properly, then that's gonna take care of a lot of my issues with these birds pooping in the nesting box. So I've got what I think is gonna do it. And it's not uncommon for things like this to come undone and unjostled. It's just one of those, I'll admit, it's one of those things that it just kind of got away from me. Sometimes you have other projects that just seem to take all of your focus away from what it is you're actually trying to do. And um, sadly, this has been one of those things that needed to be done, but just been occupied elsewhere. So and I kind of neglected it as much as I hate to admit that that's what happened, that is exactly what happened. And now I've actually, I actually keep a lot of my box hay down in here. So you guys can see there's like a lot of just wasted hay. It's not really dirty or anything. It's just things that have fallen down while I'm carrying hay bales in and flakes of hay out for the box. So I can actually reuse a lot of this as bedding for these nesting boxes for them to lay their eggs in. Hopefully that's going to keep them from coming and roosting here in the nighttime and sitting here <laughs> defecating all night long and spoiling the nesting boxes for the eggs that are meant to be laid in it. So in the morning when I come to let my chickens out, I will go ahead and drop these so that they can go in throughout the day, lay their eggs, pop out, and when I come to gather them every night, I close it back up. That's why these are able to move up and down. That's what they're for. Look, they're already already looking at my work They're like hey we want to get in there and poof not today chickens not today <laughs> then the next wonderful thing about cleaning those out is like I said we get this nitrate rich compost that's gonna go great in our raised garden beds <laughs> my uh, little trash can I'm just gonna drag it over here and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the garden beds that's one of the great things when you really learn how to utilize everything on a farm or a homestead because really you, you're aiming to have as little waste as possible because everything on this earth only puts out so much energy in its entire lifetime and I find that when we homestead and we farm it's actually our responsibility to try to capture as much of that energy and reuse it. It just seems like such a waste to let it go to nothing. Look at that, nice clean bedding and nice clean eggs. But since it's probably done for the day, I'm gonna go ahead, fold these bad boys up. There you go, you guys can see we've cleaned out all of the bedding in here. So we've got nice new bedding so they can go in, lay us nice clean eggs and just have a happy, healthy life while they're here on Mulberry Branch Farm. You know, as much as I hate doing coop cleanup in the winter, it really is indicative of your chicken's health. It really does link to how healthy and robust your chickens are during the winter time. Because in the winter time, they're not out as much because there's not as much forage. There's not as many things for them to go and pick through. The bugs are asleep, the grass is dormant, and they spend a lot more time in their coop, which means it gets a lot dirtier a lot faster, which can impact their health. It can impact their respiratory system, it can impact the things that they're ingesting, just their overall health to begin with. So while I might find it to be, you know, a little less than a fun job, a clean job to do on the farm, it's necessary. It's necessary to keep my chickens healthy and the healthier they are, the more they have to offer me. We have a symbiotic relationship. I provide them with food, I provide them with scraps, they provide me with eggs, they provide me with poop to go into my 
crops, I'll let them go through old gardens and let them have the leftovers while they're scratching up and adding their nitrates in the meantime, preparing me for the next growing season. But I, I must say that I do worry a lot about what they're eating around this time of year. I know that they must be getting bored of their layer mesh and their ground up corn. And really that's why I decided that I was going to try Grub Terra's black bulger fly larvae because, you know, I get bored eating the same thing over and over and I can only imagine that my chickens do. So I figured this might be a really fun treat to give them. So let's see how they like it. Cheeky chickens, you guys want some food? You want some treats? Wow, those look good, you guys can see. Here's what they look like. And they recommend that you give them a handful as a treat every day. So, here we go, girls. Oh. Oh. I think we might like them. Hey, Bucky, you guys want some? I think the consensus is that they like them. They're just happy to be getting treats. Here, guys. I have a larger flock, so while the one pound bag will feed about five chickens for an entire month, it probably won't feed my chickens for very long, but it's not meant to be a full feed. This is just like a treat, a supplement you give them, which I look forward to in the winter months because they don't have a whole lot to choose from, especially when we get a good snowfall and they don't even have the grasses or any of our property to really dig through. So this is gonna be really nice to give them on those snow days when they are snowed in. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, hi Tabitha, do you like them? Hi Tabby, hi Tabby. It's safe to say that like them. There were a couple of things that really stood out about Grub Terra when it comes to giving treats to my chickens. You know, I go into tractor supply all the time and I see the mealworm treats and I know that my ducks and my chickens and my turkeys all love the mealworms. But when I stopped and read about Grub Terra that these black fly larvae have about 75% more calcium than mealworms, especially thinking about my layer hens, that calcium is really important to them. All of the black soldier fly larvae that are in this bag were farm raised. And seeing as how I like to farm raise a lot of things, I figured we were kind of on the same page. It keeps their feathers healthy. And while they've already gone through molting season, this might be a really good boost for your chickens or any type of poultry while they're going through molt. Because you know, when they lose those feathers, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of nutrients from them to grow them back. So this would be a really good treat to give them. So one of the things that really stands out to me about Grub Terra is that for every one pound bag of grubs, you're saving about 20 pounds of food waste that could have gone to the landfill. What does that mean? That means that 20 pounds of food waste that could have gone to the landfill was actually given to the flies to feed them to get them ready to harvest so that I could give them my chickens. And you guys have heard me even in this specific episode that we really try to be regenerative. We really try to make sure that nothing goes to waste. Even the chicken droppings and the dirty bedding here doesn't go to waste. We really like to see less of an impact on our soils, on our animals, on our garden, on our property overall. So that really struck a chord with me when it came to Grub Terra. So this came just in time. We're actually getting ready to get a snowstorm, which means that my girls will really like the treats that I can supply them through Grub Terra. Now, if you guys want to get yourself a bag of Grub Terra, I recommend them. And I'm going to provide you with a discount code GRUB10. This will save you 10% on anything on Grub Terra's website, which I will be linking down in the comments below. So make sure that you visit them, give their black soldier fly larvae um, a try because it looks like my chickens are still enjoying them. They're still looking for every little bit that I threw out. Do you guys approve? Do you guys approve? All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for us here on Mulberry Branch Farm. I think the chickens liked the Grub Terra. I think they like that we've cleaned out their coop, that we repaired their nesting boxes, and just made it overall better for their health in their coop in the wintertime while they're all cooped up, pun intended. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video today, just hanging out with the chickens. The chickens don't really always get to be seen a lot on our channel. We uh, wanted to say thank you to Grub Terra for reaching out to us and letting us try their product so that we can test it with our flock to make sure that it works, it's chicken approved, and I think it'll work for your guys' flock too. Mark is really trying to entice a chicken to come to him and they 
You like the Grub Terra so much, they're ignoring you. They're ignoring him completely. So there you go, chicken approved for Grub Terra. <laughs> But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let us know by dropping us a like, leaving us a comment about what you liked about the video, or what are some things that we could do in our coop to make it an even better and more fun place for our chickens to be while they're cooped up in the winter time. But until next time, guys, make sure that you are all staying safe out there, being kind to one another, and we will catch you in the next one. God bless you. Bye, y'all.